Here comes a car. Comes a couple of cars. Anyways, we are. Where are we? You guys know where we are? Huh? Where? Nobody knows. We are in Muskoka, located in Bala. We're actually in Bala. I used to work here many, many moons ago for about six, seven years. Thought we'd take the kids and go look at the falls and have lunch and have fun. But yeah, hats off to all the volunteers that helped out in Angus where we had an F2 tornado. Just want to say thanks to everybody that helped out. going. Down we go. Can't see it. These are very fast. Bala is really popular for their falls. Very huge attraction. This is actually a little bit bigger than Bracebridge the last time we were at. So here we go. So anyways, very popular spot in the summertime after the kids run off and can't hear us. Um, is right here. I don't know if you can read that yet. No? Everybody plays here. Every band known to man has played here at the Key to Bala, which we're coming up on it now. It doesn't look very big. There it is there motorcycle there we are right there yep and then we got uh, bird poo guys great you never walked out yep bathrobes monkeys here, look at this one. Here's a good shirt. You can bring this to school. Hey. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lots of toys. Bathing suit. Could have got her that one. Hmm. Train tracks. So, anyways, we're going to have lunch. And um, we're going to find a, see if we can find a horse in the middle of nowhere in this little uh, village of Bala. Hopefully we can find somewhere to get around. What the? Hello, fella. Hi. What are you up to? Well, there's a horse in the middle of nowhere. Shouldn't, what the heck has happened to you? It's like a statue. Wow, they're all like, dead to the wind. I know it's Sunday, but holy heavens. So we stopped into a little pub, right? <coughs> no. And, uh, yeah. Pizza Nova in this little town of Bala. Okay, so we found a beach in Bala. Maybe a small park little village, a little beach village. <laughs> a field. <laughs> a field, a field full of, and there's the beach, four miles long. Vehicles back there, beach is there. Who would ever think about parking up here? One of the most questions asked, actually only one was asked about pranks. 
Uh, we do every life, everyday life things, and also we do pranks whenever we can. In our small city, we get in trouble. Everybody knows everybody, so we have to travel to do these pranks. And actually, I'm going to pull a prank off today, but people are actually just starting to arrive, so it's perfect. I call it poo on the toilet paper. So the trap has been set. I got to do this really fast because there's people actually coming over towards this, but I'll give you a close-up view of what it looks like. Kind of looks gross, but I think it's funny. Okay, the trap is set. Let's see what happens. Well, we waited about 20 minutes. It didn't go over that well. There's not very many people here. There's probably only about seven people. So I tried. Poo prank, toilet paper thing. I'll have to put on hold. Probably have to do it in our city. Actually, I'll try doing it in the mall where, <laughs> where a lot of people like to sit down and have little breaks inside the mall where it's nice and cool. Let's see how that goes over. Anyway, subscribe, like. I had a great day in Bala. Thanks once again to all those people in Angus that helped out, all the volunteers. They're still asking for more volunteers if anybody has time on their hands to go to Angus. Uh, lots of, um, I, I believe it's Scotia Bank. They also have donations too. So if you can, check online somewhere and uh, check it out. Thanks very much all for everybody's help.